Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Tornado Roulette. It plays two to eight players, takes about 30 minutes to play, and is for ages 21 and up. And that is because Tornado Roulette is a drinking game of sorts. You'll be having spirits. And in this game, you're going to be moving across the board by rolling die, landing on certain spaces, and taking the actions of those spaces. You're also going to be getting shot glasses, and each of your glasses is going to be one of your lives. And if you have to drink it, you're going to lose a life. And if you lose all your lives, you're out of the game and you have to complete an ultimate challenge card, and thus exempting yourself from being able to win. Uh, there are two different ways to win the game. One way is you get to the end of the game, and on the space, it's called the Chamber of Spirits, if you can roll a six, you'll win. Uh, however, the other way to play the game is you go ahead and eliminate the rest of the players, and that's by making them drink their shots with the shot glasses that come in the game. Each player gets three of them, and if they drink all three of them, they're out of the game. But don't worry, uh, that is not the only thing you'll be drinking in the game. There's also going to be a cheers cup that you're going to have next to you throughout the entire game, and so you're going to want to keep your shot lives alive or around as long as humanly possible and drink from just that cheers mug. The game also comes with a magical roulette wheel that you'll be spinning throughout the game and attempting to uh, successfully uh, navigate your way through it. You'll be betting on the roulette wheel, you'll be spending currency, and or you'll also be taking dares or challenge cards as well as sober up cards. There's a bunch of random things that happen in this game, uh, but for the most part it's a party drinking game that basically involves trying to stay uh, sober as long as possible without losing all of your lives. Anyway, let me go ahead and take you down below. I'll show you what comes in this game. It's got ton of stuff and then we'll come up and discuss my review of the game and whether or not you should pick it up. So here we have it, Tornado Roulette and everything in the board game, except for this little guy here. This is the smaller roulette wheel, which is based on the card game, and it'll have 100 cards, this guy here, and the rule book, so you can just notice a difference in the size quality of it. But this here is the board game, Tornado Roulette, and what you're going to be getting is chips, your player pieces, your player aid cards, the board, different cards for different things, whether it be the ultimate dare, the basic dares, the challenge cards, or the sober up cards, and then of course you'll get the rule book and the betting board along with some standees over here. Uh, in the game, when you start, you're going to select a color. So in this case, I could select yellow. You're going to then get 500 points worth of chips from the pool here. You're going to be getting your player aid marker, one random ultimate dare, and then you're also going to be getting three sets of uh, three shot glasses in a set on your color and it has a little imprinted character on, when you're on these shot glasses here. And you're going to fill these guys up. These guys are going to be your life total for the game. You're also going to get two two dice that you're going to be rolling throughout the game as well. And in the game, it's fairly simple. You'll start off by rolling die, moving around the board, and then you're going to start rolling two die. Um, and whenever you hit certain spaces, you're going to partake in that specific action. So for instance, if I roll the die and I move my character, I don't know, let's go ahead and say five spaces, one, two, three, four, and five, uh, we'll then perform the action based on that space. And I'll go over quite a few of the actions right now. Like, for instance, there is a shot or pay. You either have to take a shot that is your life, or you have to pay 25 of your chips. Uh, this one over here is a roulette chance, which means you're going to be able to choose to pick red or black. Then you're going to go ahead and have everybody else bet as well, either for or against you. You'll take this, you'll push this button here, you'll roll this wheel, and then if it lands on your space, uh, along with anybody else's colored space, they're going to take any of the chips from the other players who did not bet in favor of them. Them, and the bank will cover the rest, and vice versa for the other way around. Uh, there's also advance to a challenge. You'll advance to a challenge space right here, and then you're going to go ahead and draw a challenge card. These cards will have a wide variety of different challenges in them that you'll have to do. Uh, try not to laugh. First one to laugh loses. Some of these are going to be challenges for the group. Others can be challenges specifically to the individual. And like I said before, there's also an ultimate dare card. If you fail to survive the game and you have to drink your last shot, there's going to be an ultimate challenge that you'll have to perform. Form. And these are all crazy, insane challenges that you have to take part in throughout the game. Uh, there's the bar. You'll make them drink. You'll pay a certain amount of money. You'll choose a player and make them drink a shot. There's a get sober space. Uh, that, and, and there's also a, a one day sober space. And this one here will let you draw a sober card. This one here prevents you from having to deal with any nastiness on the board. Uh, you've got, let's see what else here. Uh, you've got the tornado roulette shuffle over here. You're going to have the go back for spaces. And then, of course, the chamber of spirits. Your character's going to go around the board and eventually it's going to land on this space here and you'll be able to have a chance to roll a six and if you roll a six you can instantly win the game that's one way to win this game
game. Uh, the other way to win the game is if everybody else drinks all of their life glasses and you're and performs their challenges and uh, you are the last person remaining. So there's two different ways to go about winning the game. Uh, play the game up until the point where somebody rolls a six on this board here, on the space here, or play until every player is eliminated. And that's basically it. Take your character, roll the die or dice, move on the board, take the action space, and then pass turn. Survive as long as you possibly can, and spin the wheel whenever asked to, whether it be for betting or performing one of these special actions. That's the game Tornado Roulette. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, which probably needs to be for a drinking game. Let's come up and discuss the game, and I'll tell you whether or not you should pick it up. So let me start off by saying that Tornado Roulette is the highest quality drinking party game I have seen. Uh, there are a lot of games I actually have reviewed that are drinking games, and this one just happens to have a lot of really nice components, high quality components, and uh, the way they made the components is nice as well for keeping in mind that this is a drinking party style game. Um, uh, there is a ton of really cool things, like for instance, these chips here. These are uh, high quality chips, as you can hear them. They clank together. They've got the stickers on both ends. You're going to have your plastic shot glasses with the stickers of your character's logo on them. Uh, you're going to have all the cards here. While a little thin, they don't actually, you can bend them and they're going to come back to normal and you can spill water on them so they have this like plasticky feel to them so it protects them from uh, getting you know wet. And in normal games I'd be like, not the greatest, but in this type of a game it's actually good because it, people don't usually think about the fact that when you're playing a board game and you're also having drinks around the table everywhere and people are getting a little extra, a little extra, oh what's the word, it is what some people would say. Uh, and in that case, when they're like that, they're likely to spill. And so car cards like these are a very nice touch to them. You have the player pawns that are plastic as well. And of course, the wonderful spinning roulette board. This thing here has this nice little function, has double, two AA batteries, it's plastic, it's easy to see, and it goes in the middle of the board. Um, it's also very high quality as well. Uh, this game is a game in which you're basically rolling die, and die or a dice or die, and attempting to move across the board, taking actions in certain spaces. Certain spaces will let you bet on the wheel or take actions on it. You'll be drawing cards and playing them and protecting yourself with them. It's got a little bit of a King's Cup feel. It's got a little bit of that Pokemon drinking game thing that you can download on the online kind of a feel as well. And you're obviously trying to complete challenges. You're trying to get to a certain space and roll that six of the Chamber of Spirits, or even on the roll of six to win or go back to start space. And of course, there's also the way to lose the game by simply running out of lives. If you run out of lives, that's a way you're going to lose the game as well. Um, let's talk about a couple of the cards here, because some of these cards are going to be a little spicier than others, going to be a little more intense, and this is a good way where house, house rules come into play. You might not want to play with certain cards because it's going to involve either sending a picture to your dad or <laughs> going online and leaving a post that you probably uh, would get in trouble leaving in most cases. So you have to be a little wary of what your friend circles are, and people have to know that you're, you're you're making a joke, right? Otherwise, this, you know. So, but if you want to play with those cards, that's great. If you don't want to play with them, house rules, you could take certain ones out that may or may not be good for your specific play group. That way, it'll allow you to play the game if you enjoy a roulette style bidding, wagering, drinking game. Uh, the specific big challenges, and I'll just name a couple of them so you can get a range of the idea of what they are like, is one of them is you have to show every tattoo, regardless of where it is, <laughs> moon the group, uh, doing the dishes, something I wouldn't want to do, uh, peeing in the sink, a little more spicy, and then finally, you have to to describe in full detail when you lost your V card. So uh, those ultimate challenges are in fact ultimate challenges. That's what happens when you lose the game. You have to perform one of those things there. Uh, then you have the challenge cards. Like for instance, you have to everybody has to take turn taking a shot up until everyone does. Um, talk about your worst sexy story. Uh, turn off your phone for the rest of the game, which is actually a solid card in my opinion. And then uh, drink if you have a phone cracked screen, which basically means every gal I know pretty much has to drink. I should say actually if you've ever cracked your screen. And then the tallest player to drink, which would mean I pretty much will have to drink every time. The sober up cards are special abilities that will take that will take place on your turn. You're basically going to do something like well, could could be on somebody else's turn as well. Uh, ultimate power. You now possess the ability to make anybody drink, but only until the next your next turn. Or shield from taking any shots. It's valid for one time use. Somebody tells you to take a shot, you play this, and it protects yourself. And then there's also, of course, dare cards. Dare cards are, for instance, uh, sing everything you say for the next two turns and take a shot every time you get caught not singing. Or perform a belly dance for 40 seconds. Or become an artist by drawing a mustache on your face and leaving it throughout the entire game. Um, yeah, so they have a bunch of different dares you'll be partaking in. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. Roll the dice, 
act down the space. Uh, certain spaces will let you bet, choosing spaces on the wheel, trying to activate certain spaces, attempting to roll a six, making people drink shots to remove their life total, and of course being the last person standing or the first person to roll a six. It does have that catch-up mechanic to where you can still get lucky and just win the game outright, kind of like the Pokemon game, the Pokemon drinking game. Um, and of course, it has the ability for you to strategically win by gathering the chips, uh, landing on certain spaces that will allow you to utilize said chips to remove players that are ahead from the game, thusly allowing Allowing you to make them complete their ultimate challenge and make kind of a fool of themselves. If you like a game that's kind of like a craft party game, this is going to be in line with things like Cards Against Humanity, but you're going to have to do certain actions, acting things out. Uh, it's definitely going to require spirits. Mostly sometimes I would say, oh, you know, this game you could play with water or juice if you didn't want to drink. Uh, this one specifically, I think, is going to be played a lot better if you enjoy spirits. If you're somebody who really is engaged in that kind of thing, then you're going to want to do so. And in fact, we're going to do a live stream where we play this game. I'll probably have to take out some of the cards, though, because they get a little bit too crazy for us, especially if we're posting it online on our channel. Uh, but we will show you how the game plays and uh, do this kind of fun little playthrough of, of, of the game so you get an idea of it. If you're interested in party drinking games, if you like King's Cup, if you really enjoy the party atmosphere and you want something that's easy to play, has a bunch of different things that can happen, uh, and that things that aren't going to get damaged, very high quality components, and that also is going to have a little bit of a spicy side to it, a little bit of a crazier side to it, then definitely take a look at the game Tornado Roulette. However, if you're under 21 years of age, it's not something you should be playing. It's if, you, if you're somebody who doesn't like performing certain actions that are a little bit cruder, or a little bit more on the uh, sexual nature, then it's something I would also avoid um, dealing with as well, because it's probably not going to be for you. It's not a family game. This is a game for adults. This is a game for people who enjoy partying. This is a game for people who like to get rowdy and it's very, very straightforward in your face about what it is, which is nice because you know if this is something that's going to be for you almost instantly when you see the type of game that it is. The fact that they put in a ton of great artwork on the game to show you that this is going to be a rowdy, crazy game is nice as well. You, you're not like, oh, this is, seems like a nice little game. And then you open up and you're like, woo, no, 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 you know. This game is about drinking, it is about messing with your opponents and doing crazy shenanigans throughout the entire thing, and if it's something you enjoy doing, then I strongly suggest you take a look at the game. Uh, one, I got a couple few small critiques on it. Uh, firstly, there's certain rules that I'm not too positive about. One of them is when you advance to the chamber, do you just sit there every turn after you get there and try and roll a six to win, or do you get to the start like you would with the roll six to win, and if not, go back to start? Uh, I'm not sure how that works. Usually we would just keep going around the board, but I think it might be where you stand up staying on that space. Um, another thing to note too is some of the the, the rules are going to need a copy editor. You're going to need somebody to have a copy editor. There's like certain errors and all that kind of stuff, but I, it's not a huge thing. It's just something that's definitely going to be important by the time the game is going to go out to backers. You want to make sure that all the rules have really great grammar, really great understanding of each and how it works, and a, a good layout of the turn. Otherwise though, take a look at the game. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description for Tornado Roll and I'll add all the extra content that we start producing for the game as we go down below as well. Thank you. Outro. Thank you guys for watching their Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Tornado Roulette. And obviously don't forget about the card game for Tornado Roulette as well. It plays with cards and it utilizes the spinning board as well. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe and that bell button. It greatly helps out here and lets us produce more content, more videos. So you can take a look at games like this and of course other games along the modern board game industry. Another thing to note too is my wife Callie is making a game. It's on Kickstarter right now. And if you like puzzle games, if you like games that involve mermaids and the ocean, if you like being able to rotate boards with unique player powers, we've unlocked unique reveals throughout the campaign, social stretch goals, and we're really close to funding. I think we're almost at 70% and we're only two and a half days in. So I'm really, really looking forward to having you guys take a look at the game and let me know what you think and if it's something you want to back. It's obviously a more family oriented game, but it does have that unique appeal to the mass market of gamers out there because it's got some really, really thoughtful mechanics made to allow advanced gameplay for those of you who really want something that's a little more intense for a puzzle game. As well as go ahead and check out our website unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, kickstart lists, and more. We have a live stream where we do every week on Wednesday at 
6.30 p.m. And we play games literally just like this one. In fact, I think we might be playing this one as well on our live streams. And if you would like, you can also go ahead and hit up our Discord. You can go ahead and hit up our Patreons to help support us there. Anything is greatly appreciated. But mainly right now, I'm just asking you guys to go ahead and take a look at her campaign. It'll mean the world to her. She's been working on this for years now. And it's finally come to fruition. And we are starting to see the fact that it's going to fund. And how much we can do and put out is going to be up to you guys and how much we can actually get up there. We have a ton of great stretch goals in mind. And we really, really want to put it out to the public so that you guys can have a chance to see how hard she's worked to make this wonderful looking game. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to tornado rouletting with you next time. I'm going to include a spin here as well. You ready? Ugh.